Hey guys, so last week I talked a little bit about something called uh, opinion cleansing, is I think what I called it. And um, I had some people ask me about it, so I want to talk a little bit more, but I wanted to first relay it to an idea about my daughter. My daughter's two years old, and one of the things she loves to, to do, she loves a lot of different things, but one of the things she'll say, I love you, I love you daddy, I love you mommy, and she says it expecting you to say something back. So she's learned this call and response, right? But whenever you think about it, like you take a child and I, I had to teach her everything, right? My wife and I and the people around her are a community that are raising, you know, like this, this child, this child had to learn everything from what is, oh, that's a bird, Reagan. That's, that's a bird. And from her learning things that are very concrete and easily easy to see to her now learning what love is. And I take that very seriously because if she, if I tell her that I love her, she's got to be able to see it and understand it because what I show her is how she's going to understand it. And, you know, as we grow, you know, we can talk more about it. But right now when she says, I love daddy and daddy says that I love Reagan, then she is learning step by step what it is. And the thing that I think this opinion cleansing that, you know, kind of comes along with it is if we are going to become like children, we have to be open to learn. And with that comes the idea that, hey, I might not have learned it right the first time. You know, I might not fully understand things like I thought I did. And just taking that step back away and allowing God to have the final say. You know, in Romans 3, it says, Let God be true and every man a liar. Look, so the things that God said, they're true. And if we don't, we have to stand on that. Like The things that you said are true, God, even though I may not understand it. So from there, we can take this. But if we start saying, hmm, well, if we start saying I'm the judge and I don't see how God could have done that, I don't think that, that that's right, then all of a sudden we eliminate things. If I refuse to talk to God about certain things or if you refuse to be able to listen to God, then I, you know, like I'm, I'm not open. And so in the same way, if Reagan refuses to listen to me, you know, like, and says, no, I'm, I know this, then she's not open to grow. Look, 2020 is a year for growth for me. That's what I want to emphasize is my own growth. And in order for me to be open to grow, I've got to be open to the things that aren't, that, that I thought maybe were right, but, but aren't, you know, and that none of this is going to go against the word of God, like I said before. Um, but I just want to encourage you Sometimes we have to open ourselves up to anything that God could tell us. And we align that up to his word. We're not trying to create all kinds of different interpretations of who God is. But to allow myself to be open to ideas that are not readily mine. That's how we get to our calling. That's how we hear God's voice. That's how we move into another level. If I'm not open to leave Nashville, then how could I hear God say, hey, one day you'll be in Tunisia? Can't. Again, I'm not open to it. So that being said, open yourselves up. Thanks for taking a minute.